Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you an introduction to Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is a source code editor, it's mainly used for web development. It is developed by Microsoft and it is available for Windows, Linux and even Mac OS. It includes support for debugging, embedded git control, syntax highlighting, intelligent code completion snippet and code refactoring. It is also customizable so user can change the editor's theme, keyboard shortcut and preferences. And most of all, it is free and open source. Visual Studio Code is based on Electron, a framework which is used to deploy Node.js application for desktop running on the Blink Layout engine. Although it uses the Electron framework, the software does not use Atom and instead it employs the same editor component used in Visual Studio Team Services, formerly known as Visual Studio Online. Let me give you a history lesson for Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code was announced and a preview was released on April 29, 2015 by Microsoft at the 2015 Build Conference. On November 18, 2015, Visual Studio Code was released under the MIT license and its source code posted to GitHub. Alright, so now the question is why would you want to use a Visual Studio Code for your web development? Well, there are other options available online as well, such as Atom, which is an open source as well, Brackets from Adobe, and we have a Sublime Text, and so many more, like Sublime Text, Notepad++, and then you have an options for using an IDE, such as Dreamweaver, which is not free, Aptana Studio, which is free, and we have so many more web IDEs available. Well, I was using Atom since I switched to Visual Studio Code, and I'm gonna give you my reason why I switched from Atom to Visual Studio Code. Let's open Visual Studio Code. If you haven't downloaded it, then just download this from here. The web link is code.visualstudio.com. I'll drop a link in the description as well if you can't see it. And now let's open Visual Studio Code. Well, once you open Visual Studio Code, this is what you're going to see. I've actually opened the project in Visual Studio Code before, that's why you're seeing these files, but you won't see these with the fresh install. Now, the first option we have is of Explorer. So all of your projects and folders will be shown here. We have this search option here, and then we have this Git option, which is a built-in to Visual Studio Code. So all the Git commands uh, are built into this. This is a cool feature. Next we have a debugger as well, so if you are working with the JavaScript, it has a built-in debugger for that, so this is great. We have the extension option, I've already installed this uh, beauty file. If we go right click and go to task manager, and here I want to click on more details, and then I will go to process, and here we have a Visual Studio Code. Right now it is using 0% percent of my CPU and it's only using 19.6 MB as a memory which is pretty great and if you use Atom I don't have that Atom installed in this PC but if I could show you that Atom will use a lot of resources from your CPU and a memory so Visual Studio Core is a lot faster than Atom a lot stable because I had sometimes uh, I was working on a project and it crashed a few times now, I'm not getting sponsored by Microsoft to make this video, but it's just my personal preference. If you haven't used it, give it a try. It just looks nicer, I don't know. It just looks more legit, more cleaner. It never crashes, it has a great performance, and it is great overall. If you start using Visual Studio Code, I can guarantee you, you never wanna look back. You never wanna go to Atom or Sublime Text. Now let's learn how to customize Visual Studio Code. So we're gonna go to extension tab. First of all, I'm going to download a theme for it. So we'll just type material, let's press enter. Right now we can see a material design theme, Visual Studio Code material UI snippet, dark material theme. So I'm going to install a few themes here. So let's install this dark material and I will install this material team as well and this material team as well and as you can see there's tons of uh, themes related to this material but you can actually search for these now all of these are installed 
let me get reload let's click on reload and there you go so these are all active now to make this uh, visual studio code ready for web development there are a few extensions that you should install and i will show you what extension i use mainly for web development for html css and javascript so we go to the extensions and we are going to install one theme first so dracula and then this is a dracula theme i'm going to install dark and the official one as well html css and search for it and then we have this html css support but i want to install this html css class completion so let's click on that install that and then i need to install js because i'll be using javascript as well so js css html formatter this is a cool one now we have vs code a refresh html which will help you to refresh the page automatically if you're working with less then you can install this all right so there's one more thing i want to install here which is going to be guide so type guide here and let's install this guides let me reload once it install and you will see the guidelines here so let's click on reload reload window we go to html file and now as you can see these lines these are very helpful to have a nice indentation for your code Let's go back to extensions and then I want to install one more extension. So if you use the uh, git, so git easy, search for it. And we have this git easy. This is very useful as well. So let's install that. And then we need to install VS code dash icons. Let's search for that. So this is the one, install it. And then I'll be using the bootstrap as well to lay out my HTML document. So let's type bootstrap and this is the one you need to install, bootstrap 3 snippet. Let's install that and then we have a bootstrap 4 and font awesome. Up to you if you want to use font awesome into your HTML code, you can install that as well. Now one more uh, extensions we are going to install which is going to be uh, HTML refresh your page. I want to just check that if I've installed that or not. Let's go back to extensions and I'm going to clear the search tab. Alright, so all of these are installed, some of them not active. So to activate them, let's just reload the window. And now you see all of these are active, but if we go to the file explorer and here you can see the html uh, icons are there we have the icons for js files we have icons for psd file a css file so how cool is that and if you don't see them here what you need to do we need to go to view and then click on command palette and here we're going to search for icons and in the icons tab sorry icon we have this preference file for icon theme let's click on that and now as you can see it is set to vs code if i set to none and uh, those icons will go away and the extension is installed right but it is not active so to activate any extensions you need to go to command palette and then type that so icon go to preference i'm going to set that vs code icons to these icons and now as you can see we got the icons done now there's one thing we need to change here, I want to show you how to change the theme. So we go to view command palette and type theme here. And then we have two options, file icon theme and preference color theme. So let's click on that. And these are all the themes installed in Visual Studio Code so far. Let's select that dark Dracula and there you go. So we change the theme. Now icons done and all of these are active bootstrap is done. So from the next video, we are going to start learning how to use a bootstrap and how to lay out our HTML documents with the help of bootstrap framework. And I think I forgot one more extension, which is a compulsory for any kind of coding into Visual Studio Code, which is a path completion, path auto. And this is the one you need to install, Path Autocomplete. Now what it's going to help you is, let's say we go to HTML file, and then let's say if I wanna put the image here, so let's start an image tag. So let's just type image src, and here if I type CSS and slash, 
and you can see we have this path here bootstrap.css and style.css I mean these are not images but you can see that you get this option to select the file from there you don't have to remember the name so select that and just type .css it's going to give us error because this is not an image file so path autocomplete is a pretty great extension as well let's save the file and yep that's it for this video guys and uh, i would highly recommend start using visual studio code you will never regret it because i never regret so i use so many i text editors such as sublime and atom and all those uh, available on the market right now but this is the best i've ever used so thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and stay tuned for bootstrap tutorial series and i've done so many tutorials java and autocad and all that stuff so yeah if you like the video smash the like button subscribe to our channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one. Che.